Santa Barbara for a half marathon this weekend. A News Channel reporter Patricia Martellotti shares how the race will benefit the community and how a group of visually impaired athletes plan to participate for the first time. I haven't even talked, so it doesn't make sense to me. For the first time, a group of visually impaired and disabled athletes will join thousands of runners at the Santa Barbara Half Marathon. I'm very excited about it because it's my first marathon. One, we have the, what's this one you have? I'm excited because for many of the athletes, it's their first time ever running a 5K or a half uh, marathon. And they are either visually impaired or they have Down syndrome or they're autistic and uh, they're good athletes and they want to show the world they're good athletes. It's such a fantastic experience to be able to run with other people. We're all looking to just give opportunities for runners who might have lost some of those opportunities or never really got them, so I'm really excited. Thanks to a local nonprofit, entry fees for all the blind and disabled have been covered. We want to make it accessible for everyone and we're so thrilled to partner with Run Local and bring the half marathon and make it really for the whole family, accessible to kids, um, athletes of all ability. More than 3,000 runners from all over the world are expected to join the race. From not only throughout California, uh, but from 39 states, seven countries. It's the largest participatory event uh, in Santa Barbara County. I love being able to bring our athletes out to a local event like this and really experience a race in that competitive environment that really gets you going. The Santa Barbara Half Marathon is set for Sunday, November 6th. My hope is we'll be going to the winner. <laughs> in Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Patricia Martellotti.